it's it's probably the best thing you could do as an undergrad who wanted to go down this route. And if that's where you are headed, why not start as high as you can go, I guess. Because it's, it's such a great opportunity to have your first um, exhibition, um, to interact with other people who have similar career goals as you. Really focused so I can do what I want. I don't have to do assignments all the time. Um, and I can focus on uh, my portfolio and what I'm trying to say and what I want to do. And I get a little bit of direction in the form of a mentor. I applied to the honors program um, to put it on my resume actually to um, add something to a grad application because if I'm not going to get a BFA then I should had it as well as I can and studio space. But mostly um, you get the space to pretty much do what you want and experiment to the extent that you want to so it's really good in that respect. I thought it would be fabulous to have a studio on campus and that was a big, I guess it was a big plus. You pick the seven best students of the class and you put them all together you're bound to like grow somehow. And also just to kind of mesh ideas. To kind of formulate somewhat of a bond with some other artists and, you know, begin bouncing ideas off one another. Uh, there have been people who approach art from a completely different mindset, and it's really nice to be around them and talk to them about what they think about art and what you do. You can begin talking about your work and, you know, working on it with other people. Because the first semester you're in the program, you, every weekend you're going with a different instructor somewhere or learning something new, and it's really nice to get that sort of exposure. And then for the second half of um, the program, you're into crunch time and you're working on your own individual concepts and trying to get what you want, but you're still being influenced by the people around you. So I think it's, um, it's a really great program. Well, the reason I applied was it's kind of like the interaction with the faculty and the, like the best of the art department. You also have access to like pretty much any faculty member you want. You can just, I mean, you normally do anyway, but it's great to just be able to have a, a space where you can have all of your work so you can have people come in and be like, hey, what do you think of this? And then the opportunity to work with a different professor every week or to talk to them and like just get somebody else's input, it was like something you can never really obtain any other way. They have it. So I applied, and it was awesome. I kind of stumbled upon a process I had started um, my sophomore year where I was taking photographs with my uh, digital camera and then putting them in my iPhone and then scanning those images and then taking the images that scanned and editing them, manipulating them in such a way that I have a finished product. I love that photography is all about light and all about what light is there or what light is not there and how that develops. And so with the scanner, you have an iPhone that's projecting light and the scanner that's projecting light and what ends up surviving is the strongest light. And I kind of like that sort of battle that occurs and each process adds another layer almost like you're building up in drawing or painting or printmaking. My fin finished product carries every detail of each screen. And then later, um, I've been getting more into, with my digital printouts, I've been working into those with collage and drawing. And I've also been doing some print transfers, that sort of idea of taking those layers and layering them onto more um, pieces. Um, and then also sort of, I use a thinner paper so there's a, a, a lot of information on a very small amount of paper and I kind of like that sort of juxtaposition. So I've, I've been kind of experimenting with that process and it's, it's felt really honest to myself and how I, I speak and think. 